Hi guys, it's Danny. Today I discovered a really disturbing thing and I will try to zoom in for you so you can properly see. This new growth on my cymbidium, I don't know if it's a spike or a new shoot, either way, it's really eaten up at the base. And the culprit is, where are you? It's this guy. Really worrying. I've um, I didn't really deal with too many snails so far, and I'm not sure how this got in. Could have been on the roots. Could have been um, in the ground. But anyway, this is the damage it can make. And uh, left untreated, it can totally ruin your plant. So I'm not sure if this growth here is um, really affected. I'm not sure if it's gonna die. I'm not sure if there are any other snails and I'm not sure what to do about it. I've read um, some articles about it, um, different suggestions, different opinions, different toxins, uh, different home remedies, but what I think I'll do for now is try to lure them during the night time. I will try some things like slices of potato, also lettuce, and I'll get myself a beer, <laughs> I'm not gonna drink it, and I'll just place a small cup with stale beer right on the pot. It's supposed to attract them. So, so hopefully I will manage to really attract and gather as many as I can, but I think the problem is more severe. I'm not sure how to treat it, but I'll keep you updated. I will try different stuff and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Well, I've tried some stuff. I've tried beer. They don't really seem to go for it. I've also tried lettuce. Um, it's iceberg, lettuce or something, and they seem to have enjoyed it. So here are two snails, so I guess I have a pretty huge infection in this pot. I really don't want to um, apply any toxins. I really don't like them. One, because they're not natural, and second, I hate to put on my protective gear each time. That's why I don't like to use insecticides unless I really have to. So, yeah, the battle continues though. Um, I've noticed they're more active when the pot is wet, so after I've, um, I've watered the orchid. So yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna stick with the lettuce, beer, whatever treatment. Um, I'm gonna catch a few, I'm not sure if I'm gonna catch them all. Yeah, this is a serious problem. So, okay. I'll try searching for more um, cures. Someone suggested coffee on the forum or something like that. I don't know, I'm still researching. For now, um, seems like lettuce is to their liking. So I'm gonna keep adding lettuce at night and um, catch them with this <laughs> for now. Alrighty, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end this video now or I'm gonna continue it some other time. But in case I do, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any ideas, please let me know. Because I really hate the buggers. Okay, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Okay, I think I'm onto something here. Uh, I've tried spraying the guys I found with hydrogen peroxide. And sure enough, they did die. And you can see that by the whitish appearance. So it's not just the fact that they retreated to the house, but I think they actually died. Now, this gives me an idea. What if I soak the entire pot in hydrogen peroxide? So I'm gonna think about that, I'm gonna see if it's okay to do that, and um, yeah, I'll get back to you in this video. Maybe I'll continue it. Alrighty, stay tuned. Bye. Hey guys, so I've opted to do the hydrogen peroxide um, treatment for my Symbidium market. Um, there are quite a few opinions on it, except trying to uh, lure them out, you can also Place the pot in water for a few hours uh, so that the snails will run out of air and come out. But it doesn't really kill the eggs, so yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna really try the hydrogen peroxide thingy because um, if everything goes well, then it's gonna be a good treatment. Anyway, so I got myself a little bucket here. I'm gonna use hydrogen peroxide, but I will combine it with water because one, I don't have enough, two, I just want to dilute it uh, a bit. And uh, I have my plant here. I've also noticed some other growths on the plant, so it's exciting. I'm not sure if they're spikes or babies or whatever they are. But anyway, so always if you work with hydrogen peroxide, put some gloves on because it's going to sting you like hell. 
especially if you have a cut. So, okay. First, I just want to pour the hydrogen peroxide as is. Um, try to get um, the medium moistened up with hydrogen peroxide first. And then I will add the water. It is starting to fizz. Don't worry, that's a good thing. One bottle down. For some reason, I cannot find bigger bottles of hydrogen peroxide. What's wrong with you? Oh, this one isn't full anymore. It could be slightly expired. Oh, I'm sorry about the ambulance noise. Hopefully, it's not going to be too disturbing. If it is, I'll just mute the video. Okay, so this was the hydrogen peroxide. Not as much as I expected. But anyway, and now I'm just going to pour some water. I'm going to really dilute it. But again, I'm not really sure how this cymbidium will react to hydrogen peroxide. Uh, I think I'm going to use another bottle. So, okay, what I'll do is I will fill this bucket with... Uh, normal water and hydrogen water and hopefully that's gonna kill the snails. I'll be right back. Okay, so I kind of filled it. Oh, hopefully that wasn't hydrogen peroxide on my arm. <laughs> it really stings. Anyway, I filled it with water, almost filled it, and I'm gonna just add another bottle of hydrogen peroxide for safe measure, for good measure, and let it fizz really well. Hopefully I'll manage to kill off the buggers. Would you sit straight? Anyway, so yeah, okay guys, after I let it fizz for a minute or so, I'm gonna put it out, let it drain very well and put it back to its place. And tonight I'm gonna go snail hunting again. I'm gonna apply some lettuce again, uh, see if anybody comes to eat. Again, I'm sorry about the ambulance noise. I'm not gonna pause it right now. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm not gonna continue this video, but I will make an update and tell you if the plant survived and if it's okay with this hydrogen peroxide treatment. And uh, yeah, just be sure uh, to have your annotations on because at some point I will add an annotation, um, you know, giving you the link to the second part, to the update to this plant. And I'll let you know if the treatment worked and if the little buggers are gone and the plant is just fine. So, okay, if you're seeing this uh, now as I post it, then um, yeah, wish me luck. And uh, yeah, if you see that... This video was posted a month ago, just be sure you check the annotation at the end of the video to see if the plant did okay. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, wish me luck with this guy. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!